we're going to have these, um, we're, like I said, we're going to be using some Wilton products today. So I have my candy melts, I have some fun decorations, I have a whole bunch of uh, sprinkles, I have a cake, this is just half a cake, it's a round cake, some simple frosting. All right, so are we ready to get started? Break it in half, break it in quarters, let the machine do the work. You guys see that all? Okay, so once the crumbs form, can you see that? So once the crumbs form, then I'm going to get my vanilla frosting. And I just kind of eyeball the frosting tablespoon. We'll start off there first. Pretty simple. So it's a vanilla cake mix that I used, probably Duncan Hines, I don't remember. But it's kind of has a Play-Doh-like consistency. So we're good to go. Okay? Just easy. Scoop them out. You've measured them all out to the size that you want. I just give them a little squish. Let's roll by hand until they're smooth and round. Cake pops. What I like to do is I like to put them into a ceramic mug. Um, you, glass or ceramic, I know a lot of uh, cake poppers use different uh, types. I don't use plastic because of all the problems that plastic can have. Um, but this 12 ounce bag fit perfect in my mug. Okay, beautiful. I love them. I microwave, so we're going to go over to the microwave. So that was one minute and you could see it was full and now it's, it's shrunk about a third down. And I'm just going to stir it. The cup itself is warm. It feels like a nice warm cup of coffee. It is not hot. It is just warm. I can feel the heat. It feels good, but it's not hot. Um, you want to make sure that your, the container is not hot. Um, the melt will continue to absorb the heat from the container, which is why I love to use the ceramic. The, it just makes, it just it emanates that heat throughout and it just keeps melting the, the candy melts. I'm going to take my cake pop sticks. We're going to start to add our sticks to the dip a little bit. Add it to the cake pop. See how easy that off. Got some fun Halloween sprinkles here. And for this one, I'm going to use these cute Halloween skeleton candies. Simple, easy. And I dip straight up and straight down. Down in. And then slowly bring it up and shake off that excess. And then I just kind of have sprinkles. on 
the top. Sprinkles. So. Can I have fun? So once you have that, and then we're going to add our little, our little candy on it. So to do that, I'm just going to take a toothpick. Well, I'm going to get that little guy out. And I'm just going to put some melt on the back of the candy here. And there you go. So he stays and he's on there and he's happy and he's cute. So I'm just going to keep kind of going along and having these fun things. Um, so you can see I used a lot of the sprinkles from the container to put them back since everything is in my coffee filter. It's just a simple process. Putting it so much for joining me. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email, pintsizebaker at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to get back to you. If not, check the blog tonight, pintsizebaker.com, for the full tutorial. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.